Anatomy of the lateral side of the foot, we have the lateral malleolus, which is more distal than the medial malleolus, restricting the amount of eversion allowed at that position. We have the lateral collateral ligaments, the ATFL, the PTFL, and the CFL. Okay. Just above those ligaments, we have the peroneus longus tendons, uh, the longest running through the, under the groove of the base of the fifth metatarsal. If you move back and further anterior, you find a flat surface, which is the big bone of the cuboid. Surface anatomy of the foot and ankle. On the medial side, we have the medial malleolus, which is shorter than the lateral side, allowing more inversion of the foot. Distal to the medial malleolus, we have the sustaniculum tali, which gives attachment for the deltoid ligament, the medial fibres of the deltoid ligament. Moving back onto the anterior surface of the foot, distal end of the tibia, find a dip, and then move down onto a bony surface, you have the tibia tailor joint. On the medial side, if you push your foot against my hand, you have the tibialis posterior tendon running deep on the plantar surface of the foot. Relax. Um, distal end of the tibia again, find the dip. Wrap your hand around the talus. Find the navicular tuberosity. You have the talar navicular joint. Keep your finger on the tuberosity of the navicular. Wrap your hand around the navicular. You have the navicular medial cuneiform joint, which is a plain hinge joint movement. Going back, the Taylor navicular joint is a modified ball and socket joint, so you expect lots of movement like the shoulder and hip. So you're looking at circunductory movements with this joint, the Taylor navicular joint. Moving down to the big toe, the big toe is four times bigger than the other toes, so it needs to be strong. Uh, moving down the shaft of the metatarsal to the head of the metatarsal, you have the MTP joint.